CBT guitar lesson for Paul. Great taste in music. Heart, one of the epic, iconic bands. Just that's just how it it is, right? It's like Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith. Um, anyways, great song and one that uh, no one's ever requested, and I like when that happens. Tuning for this is standard. We have section one A, four pages of tabs, um, all detailed. Let's jump in. So it starts at uh, zero seconds in and just first three notes of an E major scale on string six you're gonna go open two four a little vibrato two A quick rest there it's kind of staccato then your main groove now there's two guitars and they're intermingled playing similar parts but not exactly the same so um, keep that in mind we're getting the main guitar here um, it's a B power chord sliding to a C sharp. So we're going 2A, 4D, sliding up a whole step, that's two frets, up to the fourth and sixth fret. Palm mute that three times. So palm muting, you know, right off the palm here, lightly in front of that bridge. That'll get you your palm mute. Three times and then fourth fret A and D. Easy enough, we're already there, just bar it down. And we're going to do that again because there's double dots. Oops, paper's flying all over here. And then after the double dots, we start it again. Once you slide there, go five times palm muted. And then a 4A by itself vibrato. So. And then the same thing you did on the intro. And then you're right back into this the same way. There's our one time through. No double dots in this part. Um, back. One, two, three. Stay on the four, six. So it's like. Stays on the C sharp power chord the second time there. A power chord. Open A, 2D. And then that E major scale part again. No vibrato, at least on that one. You can put it in there, but I didn't hear any. Section 1B, 16 seconds in. This is our verse. Um, and they're really utilizing the two guitars here. It's E major. Second fret A and D. First fret G. Open B and E. You'll strum it. And initially I kind of blended them. Paul, but you'll hear like a like this open E string palm muted behind it. I decided to take it out because uh, more often than not, it just wasn't really in in there. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. So it's more solid to strum that, and then let it ring, and then go two A. We're already there. Slide to four. Add the four D. Keep everything ringing. It's a hold. Looks like an E minor, just two frets higher. Open E and B. So you have... And then back to the E. Again. Then our C sharp power chord. And that's 4A and 6D. Followed by five... Let it ring a second. And then five palm mutes. And then strum, move it over to 2 4. That's a B power chord. So, A power chord, open A, 2 D. And then open E, palm mute once, and then an E chord strum, but I'm only hearing 2 D, 1 G, and the open B and E. So it'd be like this. If you want to just set this down, that's fine. Even if you hit that A string, it's fine. So you have 
to a B major. If you haven't played this form, it can be tricky at first, but it is common. 2A, third finger bar the fourth fret, D, G, and B. Maybe check it as an arpeggio. To make sure that every note's clear. And then if it is, then back to the A power chord, B power chord, to the C sharp. Okay, this next part is kind of bigger sounding. It's an A2 chord, which is second fret D and G. Strum everything except your top string. And then an E major, two, um, oops, two, two, one, open, A, D, G, B. So it's B power chord, and then the intro section one with a B power chord on the end this time. So you have one thing I got to adjust here. We got okay. So rhythmically close to done. You'll see repeats coming in at 46 seconds in. So we move over here to page three. Oh, here's another rhythm. Minute 44 in. Po open E, palm mute twice, and then 4G, 5B. I would use these fingers, it'll go. So, there's your 4, 5, quick rest. Bar the fourth fret, same strings, all these are on the G and B. 4, 7, 4, 5, let it ring. So you have. Open E again, you're going to repeat it. But just one open E, no palm mute. Our B power chord, short rest, slide into 4 6, and then palm muting it nine times, but playing it ten times. Uh, the tenth one isn't palm muted, so you'll be going. And then back to the B power chord. Slide into four six. One, two, three, four, five. Then the solo comes in. So there's like a build-up. And you'll hear this. Uh, it's cool. 4D, alternate pick. What I did was I wrote down up, down up with the fourth fret D. Double dots times four, so it's 16 times, all alternate picked. The idea is that you don't have to count it, right? You you wanna just kind of be able to go. Just go for it. If it's falling apart, then you're gonna have to work on slowing it down and listening for consistency. You know, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, you can kind of accent the one count the 16 note rhythm uh, but when the big big picture you don't accent anything it's straight alternate 2D half step bend that means it's a one fret bend 4th fret D and A vibrato so 9A little palm mute slide to 11 palm mute 9D 11 pull 9 Pinch harmonic 11G and bend. There it is. And then 9 uh, pinch harmonic vibrato. So. If you can't do the pinch harmonics, don't sweat it. Apply those later. Just get the. If you can't do the vibrato, add that later. Just go. But do work towards the little things. 11D, 911G slide to 13. Fourteen B vibrato. Okay. 204 timestamp, 12 hammer 14B. 
and then this tapping comes in use your middle finger to tap because we're holding the pick right so we're going to tap 17 pull to 14 we're already there and then pull that to 12 hammer 14 tap 17 pull to 14 you're going to do that three times but we need to work on this slow you got so there it is fast so oops it's crazy dang it ending on the right there and then going 14 you're already there and then pick again pull off to 12 go back to 14 twice bend it a step and a half and then release it that's to that note 12 14 14 rest vibrato and then pull off to 12 210 timestamp 14e bend hold release pull to 12 14 14 vibrato 14 pull 12 11 e 12 pull 11 14 b vibrato so you have it's really cool series of repeats at 214 um, and then solo 2 comes in at 312 it's 12 B bend whammy vibrato if you got a whammy bar if not manually do it and then go 912 okay last page page 4 9 hammer 12 pull 9 on the B 11 G and this is played three times it's gonna go the trick here when you're pressing the B string, touch underneath the G string. It kills the note. So when you go hammer, pull, and I go 11G, when I leave that 11G, if I'm not muting it, you're going to get that problem. If I'm touching it, you won't hear nothing. So it's just a really good idea. 11, 12, GB, bend the, the G string, so... 911 on the G. 119 will be down up. 11 D. Uh, 11 G pinch. 9 G. 11 D slide. So it's 319 timestamp. 9 G. Well, you'll go 9 11 11 pre bend release. So it goes. And then 9, 11, pinch, bend, vibrato. With the whammy if you got it, but. 11, pull 9, and then 11, 9, pick. 11, pull 9, D, 11, pick. So it's. Eleven G bend release pull to nine. Eleven D. <coughs> Eleven G pull nine. Same thing on the D. So you have nine G. Eleven pull nine D. Eleven A. So we have slide to nine, pull to seven. Great riff. Probably my favorite one in here. Fourteen E bend hold release. Twelve fourteen vibrato whammy if you got it. Twelve E fourteen pull twelve B and then fourteen vibrato whammy if you got it again. Twelve fourteen step and a half bend and then do it again six times. You're gonna release the last one. 12, 14, vibrato, so, dang it, 
12B, 13G, slide 11. 9G, 12 pull 9B, 11G bend, hold release, pull to 9. 11 pull 9G, or D. 9G, 11 pull 9D. 11G bend, hold. You're going to drop it, pull to 11, go, or pull to 9, so. 11, again pinch vibrato. Pinch, 9 pinch, 11 pull 9D, and then 11D. So let me play all that. And that's it. So, Paul, like I said, I, I hate. I would hate for you to potentially struggle on stuff like pinch harmonics, vibratos, uh, sliding. Um, so I would rather you just get all the, the beats of these riffs correctly, obviously memorize it, but take it in pieces, subgroup it, you know? And these parts should come together for you. The other things are what I call icings, a pinch harmonic, heck yeah, sounds great. You know? But um, that's if you're used to doing them, right? If you can play them, go ahead and do it. Uh, but it'll be less for you have to think about if you just kind of map it out more simple. All right, have fun with it. Thanks, man.